All right, it's time to talk travel insurance, what it is and why I think it's imperative that you have it. So um, I will be very blunt. Travel insurance is something you need to invest in. If it means that we have to take a night off of your trip, if it means that we have to adjust a transfer from private to shared, whatever it means for you to financially be able to afford travel insurance, it is a necessity. It's a necessity because if you don't have it and something does go wrong on your vacation, it could be financially detrimental for a very, very long time. I am not trying to scare you, but it is something that I think that you need. A real life example, one of my friends lives in California. She was on a vacation in Italy. She's a travel agent, so she knows that you have to buy travel insurance on your trips. Um, the second to last night of her stay, I think it was, she was walking down a sidewalk and just missed a curb. That's it. She didn't do anything crazy. She didn't jump out of an airplane. She wasn't being unsafe. She missed a curb walking. Because of that, she fell. She broke her leg and wound up in a hospital with about $20,000 in medical bills. She also had to have her husband fly to Italy to fly with her home because she wouldn't be able to navigate flying from Europe back to the United States without him. That alone, they had to fly her first class because she had her leg propped up. That flight alone on the way back was probably $10,000. So realistically, we're easily looking at $30,000 in um, resources that she would have depleted at her, her own financial stability and her own you know, investments to pay for that if she had it. Um, her travel insurance covered everything everything was covered. Um, that is obviously a worst case scenario of something happened, but it's a real scenario and it, it's it's the truth that could happen. So what are other things that your travel insurance could cover that are not as drastic? If you miss a connection, okay, and you are stuck overnight somewhere, or maybe you just have a really long 10 hour delay that winds up ruining your entire first day of your trip, that's gonna be covered. If you have to leave early from your trip because somebody got sick at home, um, heaven forbid somebody passes away or something at work. Maybe you're the only one that is able to um, mediate or control a situation at your job. That could potentially be a covered reason, okay? So things like that are gonna cover you. The biggest thing is what if you have to leave your vacation early for some reason and half of your $10,000 vacation is cut short? What happens to the other $5,000 that you didn't use? The hotel most likely will say, I'm sorry, but it's already paid for. Their cancellation policy, you're, you've lost it. Your insurance company would come in to help you pay the rest of that $5,000 or reimburse you for it. Okay. So that's how it covers what it covers. Pricing. It really depends on your age and the price of your trip. But I would say in general, you can plan between $100 and maybe $250 per person. I would say that's where the average falls. I would say most are closer to that $150-ish type range. So we'll run that pricing for you so you can see exactly what it will be. Um, and then as far as when do you purchase it, you purchase it when you get your trip booked. Uh, I can't stress this enough. The reason you stress that you do it when you purchase your trip is because then you are covered for um, for pre-existing conditions. So if you, minus pregnancy, that is not a covered reason. Um, so if you are thinking of getting pregnant or plan to get pregnant, just be mindful with your travel policies um, and your travel um, cancellation policies. So if say you have um, diabetes and your diabetes is great, it's covered, you've been um, controlling it really well for the past 10 years, that's fine. It is a pre-existing condition. And as long as you purchase your travel protection within 14 days of booking your trip, in most situations, that pre-existing condition will still be covered. So if you have a problem with your diabetes that it requires you to go to the hospital, it requires you to come home, whatever it might be, well, on your vacation or before your vacation, your trip is covered. However, if you purchase it after those 15 days, and let's just say your medicine changed or something happened where you needed to have medical interventions, because you waited until after 14 days, you will not be covered for that reason, okay? Um, so just keep in mind that you have a much higher level of coverage um, should something go wrong because of something, whether you know you had it or didn't, um, that's going to help you if you need to make a claim later. Um, as far as the coverage, there are different levels of policies, so we can look into those different ones. I'm not an insurance agent, but I can tell you from the best of my knowledge, and I can give you the resources to look over them. So where do you buy the travel insurance? Well, if you have a package through me, so I did your flight and your um, transfers and your hotel kind of thing to Mexico, for example, I will um, always include travel insurance in that price, and I will give it to you in a bundled package. It is up to you to tell me no at that point if you don't want it, and I will remove it. I will advise against it, but I will remove it. If you are going to Disney, 
or to a sandals trip, whether you purchase your flights through Disney and sandals or not, I will suggest that you use the policy that is given to us by Disney and or sandals. It will cover your flights as well, even though you did not book your flights through that source. If you purchased a timeshare rental, if you're going on a condo vacation to Florida, if you, um, had a vacation through me that didn't offer insurance, so a Europe trip, for example, then I will give you an outside resource called Travel Guard. I do have a link to it on my website if you wanted to purchase travel insurance for a trip that you're doing on your own. Um, just remember that if it's a really low cost trip, it's going to have a low cost insurance policy. So definitely keep that in mind. It's worth the extra coverage. Um, and this is for domestic and international. So you can do it if you're going to California, to Disneyland, or just to Santa Monica, whatever. Um, so you can purchase it there on the website as well. So the biggest thing, the biggest takeaway is you never know when you're going to need it. And if you need it, you're going to be very thankful that you have it. So ask me the questions that you have about travel insurance. I'll do my best to add, um, answer them for you. Um, and then just it's a level of coverage that is going to be uh, really supportive to you if you need it. So I hope that helps. I am happy to help you through the process and I'll talk to you soon.